Hello everyone, welcome back. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get it. What business is it of yours? What we- No! Oh, it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me! Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, what is it? those bison and leaving them in the rut? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please. Don't. All right, now get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. And run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Oh God, I am tired. <laughs> See this guy. <sighs> Mr. Morgan, how are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only buggers can't stand me. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. How about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. This feller I can hurt. Uh, uh. Let's make y'all famous. Keep moving. Go on. Look pretty doing it. Is taken? Go there! Move it! You a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> How are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Macy. You too, sir. You too. Now for a... Th 
final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Let's go to the gun store, see if I can get anything. <coughs> gun belts or something. Nice to see you again, partner. Let me know what catches your eye. Is that, is that smell? Is, is that you? Oops, uh. Do I need a shower?
table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Ah, I hear you. Well, the quality's a bit lacking. We won't get much for it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Keep my eye out for some good material. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete fool. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? Beyond the man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know, but, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's, he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. friend of you. Roads! Because what can possibly go wrong, wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah. That's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Hello, Let's wait to walk. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus. Bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They. 
painted a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wit. The witness of bosses. I know my comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the. What did you call us again? Discouraged men. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go this way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that biker business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping the complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Thank you. 
Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. 